What's up guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a super exciting video. Well, at least I think it's super exciting. I am going to show you guys my full collection of Key Australia sunglasses. I have about 26 pairs. Some might think that's crazy, some might think that's not a lot. I don't really care either way. I love my sunglasses. I love the brand and that's pretty much the only type of sunglasses that I've been buying for a year and a half, almost two years. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. For those of you who don't know who Key Australia is, they're an Australian based company. They specialize in sunglasses. I found out about Key Australia two years ago when I signed up for Ipsy and started following all the Ipsy stylists and I think the first person I saw wearing Key Australia sunglasses was Crispy. She's a YouTuber. I ordered a couple pairs my first purchase. I fell in love. I haven't turned back since. The prices on the sunglasses range anywhere from $50 to $85, maybe even more. I think I have one pair that's more than $75. The sunglasses are very good quality. They last a really long time as long as you take care of them the right way. I couldn't see myself really going and buying another type of sunglasses. If there's one thing that I like to accessorize with a badass pair of sunglasses, it's definitely a bold ass lip, especially a bold red lip. That is my favorite type of look. If you guys want to see all my sunglasses from Key Australia, then make sure you keep on watching. Some of you are probably wondering, how the hell did she grow all this long hair? I didn't. It's a wig and I'm loving it. Okay, this wig is from Bellamy Hair. It's the Nikita Dragon collaboration. The name of this wig is called Khaleesi. I do have a full first impressions review and somewhat tutorial on this wig and putting it on. I will leave that video linked down below so make sure you check it out. Let's get right into this video. Okay, where do I start, right? <laughs> Well, I think I'll start with the pair of sunglasses that I pretty much wear every single day. These are called Cafe Eraser. I wear these every single day for work because I feel like they just aren't too flashy, even though they probably are. <laughs> You can't go wrong with these. The next pair I'm going to show you is another style. The exact same thing, they just have like, like a tortoise black and whitish frame with the blue lenses. You know when I am wearing something that's going to go with the blue reflection, I will choose these. Yes. These are just super cute, almost like an aviator. No, not really an aviator. I don't know what I'm saying. These are called Showtime. They're just super reflective, super big on the face, very dramatic, very flashy, but I love them. Next we have these black ones with more of a purple-ish reflection and these are called Joyride. I haven't worn these in a really long time. Just a great pair to have in your collection. You know, another Joyride pair and this one is the exact same one that I just showed you except it has more of a silver reflective mirror. When I like something and there's multiple colors of it, I tend to buy almost every color, if not at least one or two of the same. They're not too big for the face, more of like a summertime or if you're wearing like brown tones in your outfit, these are a great pair to have or wear. Next up we have these little black stargazer things. What is the name? Yeah, Stargaze. They're called Stargaze. I knew I was right with that. These might be my least favorite Key Australia's. Actually, they look really good with this wig, I think. I feel like these would have been a great pair for me to be able to try on before I made the purchase. But hey, they're in my collection and I'm definitely not getting rid of them, so, you know. And then we have another Stargaze pair, and this is just another color because, I, like I just said, if there's something that I like and there's more colors or multiple colors, then I do tend to like to have more than just one. I bought this pair and the black pair at the same time without trying them on, thinking that they were just going to look perfect. And not that I think that they look bad on my face, they're just not my favorite. We have this aviator pair right here. This is like my first aviator purchase from Key Australia. I have wrecked these to the core. They are very scratched on the lenses. They're actually really dirty. I should have cleaned them before I started filming this video. These are called Vivine. I think I've messed them up, worn them during some parties, pool parties, things like that, so they have fallen off my face. I think they're kind of crooked too, but man, I was living with these, I think, in summer of 2016 for sure. 
We have these very dramatic sunglasses, very huge on the face. When I look at these, I just think of summertime, going to the beach, just wanting to be super extra. These are called Sorority Princess. I actually have never even worn these out anywhere because my boyfriend is just like, those are too much, you're not wearing those when you're with me, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> but I know they're going to be used for a great occasion or event sometime in my future. Yeah. What do you guys think? I love these. I need to wear them soon and I'm going to wear them with my man. That's exactly what's going to happen. We have another pair of the sorority princess ones and these are just with the blue lens. If I like something and there's multiple colors, here we go. Super dramatic, pretty much overpower your entire face and look super extra. <laughs> Next we have this little cute almost cat eye pair with the blue reflective mirror lens and these are called My Girls. This is so funny. I wore this top with these sunglasses on 4th of July 2016. It's too funny. Of course my I didn't have this bomb ass wig. Do you have the super mirror reflective side so you know you stand out in the crowd. And here we have another aviator pair. Pretty much all black with a rose gold frame. These are called Needing Fame. These are like... Yes, Mrs. Officer. I love glasses like these that are almost like the 50s style, you know, cat eye type sunglasses. These are called Harper. I just love the look of like that cat eye type. They look super fierce. Yes. Man, I need to wear these soon. We have a pair that has just been broken down. In collaboration with Crispy. So Crispy X Key or Key X Crispy, whichever. It's called Jet Lag. I remember I wore these on my birthday party in 2016. They definitely got messed up quite a bit. That was a very, very fun day for me. I remember getting cake shoved into my face and got all over the glasses. I haven't really worn them that much since then because whatever happened that day and night, they're really loose on my face so they fall off very easily they fall down like that you go crispy this pair we have is another pair from the crispy x key collaboration really into the reflective mirror lens these are called mila they're just super cool like I am the cool girl. Now we're going into another collaboration with Key, and this is the Key X Kylie. These are called the Hidden Hills. I thought when Kylie came out with a collection with Key Australia, I thought that I was gonna fall in love with every single pair. Some of them were just uh, not my style. These were probably my favorite out of her first collection that she came out with. I love these a lot. This flat top is just like my ultimate favorite. I love these so much. Of course. I had to get the second color of the Hidden Hill. Yeah. No, how could I not have two different options for her collaboration? It's the rose gold lens and the pink clearish frame. Okay, so we've done the majority of the sunglasses that I have. Now I'm going to get into my favorite section, I guess you would call it, of my Key Australia. I have nine pairs of this collection from this collaboration and it, they are my most favorite out of all the sunglasses that I have. That is the Desi Perkins collaboration that she did with Key Australia. The multiple different collections that she has done. The first pair that I bought when the Desi X Key collaboration launched these because of the flat top because I just like them so much and these are the type that I like to wear when I go to work. Unfortunately, these have broken I think it was my fault. They were in my purse. I just wasn't taking care of them. They kind of cracked right here on the lens and I'm just kind of holding them together because I just can't throw them away yet. I'm so sad that I can't buy a new pair because they are limited edition and there are no more. They're called On The Low. It's rose gold frame right here. Just super cute. These are what I was wearing every day to work. Oh yes, I love them. I just wish that they would come back so I can get another pair. All the Desi Perkins sunglasses are my favorite, so I, I think I'm going to keep saying, oh, these are my favorite, oh, these are my favorite. The ones that I'm going to show you right here are just almost like my signature type of look, especially during summer or springtime. They are super cat eye, reflective greenish, turquoise. These are called TYSM, and for those of you who don't know what that means, it's Thank you so much. I could wear these every day in summertime. Doesn't matter what I'm wearing, a dress, shorts and a tank, 
jeans and a crop top or jeans and a bodysuit like these just give it to me they're just so chic and cool and just it's, it's just like look at her now we're gonna get into one of the most popular sunglasses on the key australia website and those are the high keys i have seven pairs of high keys i think i have every single color i guess we'll start with the ones that came out in the beginning here are the high keys and these are in black silver. I just love all the high keys. Looking great with this outfit as well. I just wish I would have taken better care of them and they didn't really have scratches on them and things like that, but hey, it is what it is, right? Next are the high keys in rose gold with, it's a, like a rose goldy frame as well. How can you go wrong with some badass aviators, right? And here we have the turquoise and silver high keys. God, these were so popular. Give it to me take me to the beach next we have the silver on silver these are all gonna look the same but i'm still gonna put every single one on and show you exactly what they look like like literally every single high key pair and you can wear it with any type of outfit so i think i'm pretty much good the next pair i'm going to show you is probably my favorite out of the high key collection which is the black fades oh i love these i live for them I've worn these ones most out of all my high keys. I mean, look at that. I love how the fade goes to the bottom and that's clear. I love that. Look. These last two are the last two pairs that I have bought from Key Australia. It's been a couple months since I have purchase some sunglasses I mean if you add these up you guys it's quite a bit of money that I've been spending on sunglasses the past almost two years but whatever these are the rose gold gunmetal frame oh just live for them again it's an aviator it's the same as all the other ones but this is what they look like on so you can see the rose gold reflection we are down to the last pair of sunglasses can you believe it last high key which is the army green and luxury gold mirror reflection or mirror lens so I'm going to Costa Rica in January for a week and I'm telling you I've already been thinking about these and I'm getting outfits that are going to match with these because I'm in Costa Rica, luxury gold and army green. What else should I do, right? Well, that's it. I don't have any more pairs of sunglasses to show you guys. What do you guys think about my collection? Please let me know down in the comments your thoughts. Let me know which pair is your favorite. If you have any of these pairs, what you guys think about the Key Australia. Are they worth the money? Do you have a collection of your own? Sound off in the comments and let me know. I'm super curious. If you guys like this video on my collection of all Key Australia sunglasses, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!